dee da la dee dee la dee da I, I I find it rough because uh, I like listening to music and um, our bandwidth ran out on that, so I can't listen to music now. But it, it's the first in the month tomorrow, and then we save it. We save the bandwidth that we got. So, what's up, Stacy? Hi, Deanna. Deanne, sorry. I'm going to... Really be doing probably a lot of Bible stuff soon. Uh, the last bit of stuff that's supposed to happen before Christ returns is there. We're there now. The military alliances that were supposed to have taken place that people thought was pretty much impossible. Like you're going to have China, Russia, and an alliance of Arab nations. That's nuts. How the hell is that going to happen? We're there. China and Russia are in the in the sea next to Israel. They're ready for something big to happen. And uh, the Arab nations are all coming out. Erdogan said, this is genocide. Israel's done. All the leaders of the Arab world are saying genocide and we need to do something now. They're going to come against Israel all like that, like, like uh, a force to be reckoned with. Holy shit. And they have a mission that is just... That's what Christians need to really, they're going to need to get this. If you're standing for Israel, you're on the wrong side. You got to jump out, get out of that pool. I'm telling you. If you don't want to support Palestine, that's fine. I understand why you wouldn't. I was there. I talked to people. That, you, you don't understand. I was, I, I was making my way up the rail in prophecy and uh, in the in the Christian prophecy movement, and I was I was invited even to put together a presentation for uh, the Bronson Prophecy Conference that takes place in Montana. I was invited to do a presentation there. But here's the thing: this uh, cancer that's within Christianity, and this is something that needs to be removed, and it's the Zionist shit. We were deceived by people like John Hagee that, and I'm not condemning John Hagee even, okay? I don't want you to feel any condemnation coming from this because it's not meant that way. I'm sure John Hagee was the same as my grandmother, minded in the same way as my grandmother, that Israel was founded to protect the Jewish people from another Holocaust, What's up, Matt? Well, how you doing, Snackery and Hot Mama? Uh, this is what was fed to us as Baptist Christians. So when you looked at Israel, you saw it's the Holy Land. It's the land of Jesus. It's the land of the Jewish people. And we have this division in our mind about Jews and Arabs. Didn't you always question, though, because I did, why are all the leaders and everything in Israel white dudes? That, that's really strange. There are all these European Jews. Like, and I'm not, see, I was in the camp of going, of course there's European Jews, because the diaspora went everywhere. There's shades of... In every skin color, and there's Jews, Hebrews, in every skin color, which is true. But there's a specific group of these individuals that they call themselves ethnically Jewish, but their religion is of Baal, of Moloch, the old time stuff. And it's, they don't get it. They can't see that because they still got blinders on. And it's only Jesus that will take them off. I'm going to catch the Bioshock stream soon enough. Yeah, I know. What's up, Ling and things? So, the entire, I'll say 
Baptist, you know, Protestant, because I didn't grow up Catholic, so I don't know what they believe on Israel. Uh, what we were fed by pastors and teachers and stuff was hogwash, but they didn't even know it. Now, the ones at the top of the movement that created all of this mindset of Zionism and Christianity, they know, I think, and they're working for the other side. They're working for the bad guys. They knew exactly what all this was about. It was about making a Nazi state. Holy shit. It's, it's a, the great deception. That's how I'm feeling this is. It's the great deception. We, we as Protestant Christians in America thought that Israel was the holy land that Jesus was in and his people are blessed and holy forever, which they are. But within this segment of Jewry, we'll call it, because I don't want to be offensive here to anyone. You have Ashkenazi Jews, which are European. They, 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 they came out of the Caucasus Mountains of Europe, okay? They're white. You have Sephardic Jews, the Sephardim, that, that, and they are tanned and darker-skinned Jews. And then you have the Ethiopian Jews, which are pitch black Jewish people. OK, which have been in the last years horribly genocided in Africa. This is all another Holocaust globally. Do you see this? And they turned up the heat on it for some reason. Why? I don't know. It's something having to do with their Kabbalistic fucking bullshit. You can guarantee it. It has something to do with with. OK, it's time now. I don't know if it's the place we are in the universe that our planet's going through it and they're like, okay, the energy is right now and we got to start these sacrifices of children. I'm not sure. I don't know why the timing other than it's in God's time. It's prophecy and it's going to happen. Because if you don't understand this, this is absolutely incredible that you have in the book of Ezekiel the exact alliances that are, have come together that are going to crush Israel. Do you understand that? And they're justified completely under the creator. There's no doubt they are because their people are being slaughtered in Gaza and the West Bank and Rafa. Does. Okay. You call the West Bank and Gaza, you want to call it something? Call West Bank and Gaza, Auschwitz and Dachau because they're no different. Those cities aren't cities. They're death camps. And they, they bombed people literally that were just making bread. That's not a war, you see? When, a, when an invading force goes into a city and blows apart the buildings with 2,000 pound bombs, do you realize you can kill people two city blocks away with a 2,000 pound bomb? They drop these things right in the center of civilians. This is ethnic cleansing genocide. It's not a war. These Palestinians are dying, just dying. There's no one with rocks or AKs or C4, any, no kind of weapons. They have nothing. I haven't even seen these Palestinian people throwing rocks at the IDF. It's like they are willing sacrifices for you to see. And it's to remind you that you live in a world where the governments are headed by satanic freaks. And that's the truth. There's no getting around that. But a lot of these justified leaders that have heard the call of repentance and the call of people calling for the judgment against the shedding of innocent blood are standing up. And the Arab nations will not stand for this. They won't. Not open genocide and BB net. There is something they're saying about a ceasefire, maybe six week ceasefire, but nothing's been agreed to until there's an agreement. You can't even talk about that. Uh, hey, Cap Captain Ahab, what's up? If 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 you got something, I'm sorry. If you got something and you can drop it, we need a little bit of food here. God bless you. We love you. Um, we do need food. But I, I, the, the, the food bank timing uh, was not there. There's no good in war. All the bloodshed's awful. That's right. Crap, Rangoon, what's up? Uh,
I don't know how, I don't know what the hell is going to happen with Joe Biden at this point. Uh, it looks like uh, the majority of, of the liberals, even progressives, their hair's on fire, you know, like young Turks, like Biden is a war criminal sack of shit. Yes, he is. Because he funded this in Gaza. Your tax money went to this. So you got you to gotta repent in your spirit about the finances that your taxes went to for that. You got to. Uh, I, I really don't know what's going to happen I, I, with the election. Trump's a convicted felon now. You're going to have a president of the United States that could be on house arrest. He's going to have the anchor ankle bracelet in the White House. <laughs> He's the Poor Gavin. Trump's the little horn, dude. It's I believe it. Baby. Both candidates questionable. Wish we got different people. Same here, Crab Rangoon. Gavin's afraid of all the. You guys are going to drive yourselves crazy if you don't go outside and touch and eat the grass. Yeah, I agree. Wish I could smoke some grass. Smoking some grass would be good, yeah. Well, Gavin's afraid because all the dogs are barking. I know. No, we're we'll we'll not be. I, I mean, thank you for the concern, Kiki. You know, but uh, I have to go out to get stuff from time to time, so I've been out. Don't worry about it. But that would be pretty insane if the United States of America has an elected president that's uh, uh, in jail, that's, that's under house arrest. Biden has done so much bad. I've never struggled so hard to survive. Yeah, Matt, it's the, it, it's the, um, the, the, the inflation consequences have been so fucking devastating to everybody's pocketbook. I think on that one issue alone, because he's done nothing. Biden has done not. Oh, he did the he did the Inflation Reduction Act. It didn't do shit. And everybody that's a normal human being knows that that was bullshit. It did nothing. So on this one issue alone, on 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 inflation, he should be out. That's it. Just on that. Oh, you know, Bidenomics. How about inflationomics? By 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 inflation, like he owns it now. Do you regret going as hard as you did for Trump in twenty sixteen? Yeah, I do, Kiki. I do. Uh do I wish that Hillary Rotten Clinton won? No. And Trump didn't start World War Three. Everybody said if Trump's president, he's going to drop nukes on everyone. That didn't happen. That's bullshit. Uh, I want Hillary to be president. No. Way. More Clintons and Bushes? Fuck that shit. No way. I say none of them. Yeah, none of them. Exactly. That's the, But they don't give us a choice. It's got to be one of the kings of the earth. It's got to be a Clinton, a Trump, a Bush... Now, Obama, you know, he'll be part of the royal... He already is. He's related to Bush. They're all related to each other. They're all the same blood. The president's... Oh, that's a coincidence. Give me a fucking break. It's a coincidence. They're all like 16th cousins. It's the same family. That's been... Pre that they, they deem them worthy to be fucking president. This scumbag from Arkansas that pull his cock out at, at, at fucking trailer parks because he was such a scumbag. That couldn't keep his dick in his pants. They make this guy president. Why? William Jefferson Clinton. How's Shanny doing today? Pain levels still high? Yeah, Captain Ahab, Blake. Yeah. Yeah. That's why was, she was saying, like, I'd love some green. You know? Like, yeah, THC. I don't run. want green. To, like, if like I had a choice, it definitely would be food. Yeah, you said you'd like some green. I was just mentioning that. But yeah, uh -oh. she's just feeling not good. But yeah, uh, food is like needed. My back hurts like hell. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know. I think we should just give the fucking presidency to Bernie Sanders and see I what he does. Gavin on me. He's a customer. We should give uh, the presidency to Bernie Sanders for four years and see what he does. If the people like what he did, boom, put him in four more. If they don't, toss him out. Whoever coalesces some kind of leadership in the four years that Bernie's president, run against him. And if they win, fine. Bernie's gone. What I say give it to him now. He earned it. You know why? Because he would have been the nominee against Trump. They fucked Bernie out of the nomination of the DNC. You know, you guys know about it. You have to know about that. They fucked Bernie out of the nomination to make Hillary the fucking nominee. Ugh. You guys are real dumb. He's a walking casket. That's right, I do, man. I know. They're all old as fuck. What do you do? They don't offer us anything else. What do we do? You got to be a kingmaker. You got to be one of these fucking families to have any kind of power. I'm contacting Teespring right now. So God bless you, Cat and Ahab. I'm sorry you've had problems. We had pro I had problems with Teespring a couple times too, getting money. I think they hold it deliberately for, for their books, you know, to make them look like a really successful company. That's what I think they do. Oh, we always got to have 20 million on hand in, in extra income. So we're not going to pay you out yet. I think that's what it is. They want to be one of these super amazing fucking companies, you know? Ow. Ow. Yeah, you screw people over for that to get there. That's capitalism. Who can fuck the other guy is harder to get on top of them. That's capitalism. That's why I don't support mm -hmm. it. Trump 24, that's fine. That's up to you. I, I don't get triggered by seeing that shit because I was there. And, and I, I, I meet tons of people out here that love them. Last time they paid me was April 11. I'm sorry. That's BS. Hey, Lost in the Abyss. I don't blame you for voting for something different. But it, see, here's the thing. Trump said he'd arrest Hillary, right? He had four years to do that. He didn't do it. You're sick of being broke. I'm sorry. God bless you. Same here. Hi, Chubby. Biden is a crypt keeper. Yeah, he's close to it. He looks like a friggin' Yeah, like an Egyptian uh, mummy. He's looking real rough. You got Kamala Harris as president soon then. If he wins and uh, come November 5th, you got Kamala Harris as president. Okay. All right. Her own staff can't stand her to the level that they quit. But okay, she'll be a first woman president. Kamala Harris. I said that she'd be the next Obama before anything. Before I said... If she runs for president, because I, I saw the way she spoke and the way her affect, the way she presents herself, she wanted to be a female Obama, you know? I don't mean that racist at all, okay? Not at all. It's just like they were framing her to be that way. Like, oh, she's going to be presidential material, and they made her VP. I was like, damn, that's it. You know, the rules, capitalism, the fucking Amish, they legit talking, taking over where I live in Amish have hella money. Do they really? Yeah, they own land. That's why. The Amish own land. Generationally. So yeah, they're going to be rich as shit. God bless them, didn't he? For living a clean life? Because that's what they do. They're amazing people. They work the farm and they don't leave home. And they stay clean. God blessed it. The USA is done if Biden wins. We're close to Putin nuking us. Well, yeah, that's true, but do you think it's better with Trump? For real. Do you think it's better with Trump? Mike Ock. <laughs> Mike Ock. That's funny. <laughs> that's a good name. Mike Ock. 72. 72 incher? Boom. Christ. What do you do with that? Biden is a corpse. And... He supports genocide. So he's a genocide-loving zombie. Uh, I think there's no good choices in this election. That's right, Corella. 
you're definitely fucking a billion percent correct. So that will get you. You're going to get the pin comment. Okay. There you go. You got the pin comment. That's correct. What the fuck do you do? If you vote for a third. Watermelon, get down. She's fine. She's not. Hey, baby girl, do you have to be on there? Wrong? Yeah. Get down. Get down. Go ahead. There you go. Good girl. Okay. She's a good baby. Hey, Kayla Koo. Kyla Koo. Uh, I have to say this quick because we're kind of in a situation where the hunger level is pretty freaking high. We don't get our freaking EBT stamps until the third. Thanks, government. You realize every day that you go over the first for some people, they're starving literally. You don't care though. If you can drop some money in one of our things, either the Cash App, I got, we got Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. God bless you. Our, our, our addresses are in the description on our page. It's for food, strictly for food. And we love you. Kamala sucks too. Yeah, Kyla Koo. She's a bitch, man. Her own staff was like, screw you. We're done. The Amish are asses. I live, I live on a private lane. No boat but residents are supposed to be on this lane. They, they come through, rip up the road. It's stone and residents have to maintain and threaten us to sue. I'm sorry about your land ownership issues. That's rough. It's nice that you own land, though. Be happy you still own property. I gave all mine away. Literally, to keep a black brother off the street, I gave everything I had away. Are you a liberal or a conservative? I am outside the boxes. I would have used to say conservative, but that means who do I agree with when I say I'm a conservative? Marjorie Taylor Greene? Lauren Handjob Bobert? Who the fuck are they? I don't know what that is. I ain't a conservative. The box, I'm outside. I'm not in the box. I'm an anarcho-communist believer in Jesus. And, and aspire and waiter for the kingdom of God economy. That's what I am. She doesn't even show her face. Yeah, nobody, they all hate her. Did you ever get a game systems back from him? Anything, nothing, Matt. He never came here and put nothing on our fucking porch. Not a thing. It's not like a farm or anything. It's a normal house. It's like a villi little village we live in. We got lucky. My grandfather bought it when he did. That's awesome, mild grumbling. You're blessed. As wow. That's like Stardew Valley. Your grandpa goes, hey, someday you're going to hate your job. Quit it and come to the farm and work the land and you'll love it. and You'll have a good life. That's, li that's literally what happened to you. That's awesome. Petition to fight, G-Man. Not worth it. Ew. Not worth it. A Jake Paul fight with G-Man? Fuck. He it's wishes not worth it. He'd be touched by my husband. Yeah, he's a handsy person, you know. That individual is very handsy. He likes to touch men. He likes to touch long-haired, pretty guys. Right, Gary? No fighting, let let it peace in. That's right, Crab Rango, and I ain't fight no one. No place uh, sucks because we have refinance and, uh, when he passed, so that's great. That G-Man took all material possessions from you, and once he had everything, he turned on you. It's crazy, isn't it, Matt? That's exactly what happened. I have a farm in Kansas inherited from my grandfather ranch as well. I'm so thankful. Ch you guys are blessed. That's awesome. I was, I inherited two houses in Pennsylvania. I inherited two houses in Pennsylvania. I was blessed, highly favored by God. I just did the rich ruler thing. And as a believer in Jesus, one of those requirements is losing everything in one way or another by charity or whatever. Fighting ain't worth it. He'll get what's coming to him when he's judged. That's right, Captain Ahab. I bet he's going to sell that house you gave him and reap the benefits. He already got $160,000 for it, Matt. 
He, he sold it and got $160,000 for it. I'm right outside PA. Cool, mild grumbling. That's awesome. You're, you, uh, like Jersey or what? I'm having a hard day. Your preaching makes it better. Keep it up. Well, thank you, Dissection Girl. That's like all I did on my channel when I had it, Revelation News. You would have never seen a live stream from me ever, like a live thing, never. Uh -uh. What I did was, was Bible shit. And that's it. It was beautiful. He is a snake, Matt. He's a snake, bro. Absolutely. Mm. I'm ready to pack up and leave. Well, hey, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, if I had the money, I, I'd buy a house and car and then buy material shit last. Yeah. <clears throat> Bless you. No, I see the meaning of all this stuff, you know, the the big picture of it. It's it, it is. It's meant to make you grow in the spirit. And 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 once you really understand that material goods are just that. Jesus said it's moth 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 and rust and that shit devours stuff on earth. Don't set up your treasure here. Put it in heaven because that's where it's eternal. And then you earn your crowns through your life and then when you meet Jesus at death, you cast your crowns at him. It's all for him anyway. You're not taking anything to heaven. You're taking your soul. That's the only possession you can have. Yeah, Gavin Kit Kats. He's a boy. He came by. Hi, boy. You're cute. Everybody loves Gavin. So, you know. You got the cute butt. Gavin? No, you. Oh, me? I have a butt. I have a cute butt. Thank you, honey. You're very cute. You have the best bum bum. But yeah, if you're out there in the world, talk, tell, just talk about Gaza. Bring awareness to it. And it might really, yeah, I tried it yesterday when I was out with, with a few people and their reactions are very just depressed. Like they won't even talk about it. Life is a game collecting good games to please the Lord. Life is a game of collecting good games to please the Lord. Good deeds. Yeah, now that's correct. There you go. They won't save you. Your good deeds don't save you. It just says who you believe in. That's all. Salvation by works is, forget it, that's religion. Salvation by works is religion, and it doesn't work. It's where your heart is. It's yeah. where your soul is. That's it. That's it, bro. Uh, I'll mention it one more time, and I'm not going to mention it after this, okay? You know, we got a Cash App, a Venmo, and a, a PayPal. If you can, put a little something in there for some lit. It's just for food. That's all it's for. We love you and appreciate you, you know? The priesthood needs a little bread. That happens from time to time. We, if we were in Israel and, you know, they knew who exactly we were, we wouldn't have to ask for any bread. We would just come to us. Because that's the way that shit works. The, the, the Levitical priesthood just had their certain portion of food and they got that. And, and that's what you live on. Can you and Shani apply for any assistance? We got assistance. It's just gone for this month. And we're waiting until the third. It's until the third of the month that we get it. I've been having a stressful week. Luckily, my wife made uh, me a stiff whiskey sour on my table when I got home. She even took my boots off for me. What a wow. That's awesome, Matt. Good for you. Mm. Keep that. Mm. Hi, Holly. I'll take your boots off and your shirt and your pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Uh, let me see. I'll give you sweet kisses everywhere. Let me see what I got for you in here.
First Chronicles 11 is what I opened to. All right, Philistines. Ah. Uh, and, they, and they put his armor in the house of their gods and fastened his head in the temple of Dagon. Oh, jeez. Hi. And when all uh, Jebeshaglied heard all that the Philistines had done to Saul, they arose, all the valiant men, and took away the body of Saul and the body. Oh, well, that's where we're at bodies of his sons, and, and brought them to Jabesh and buried their bones under the oak in Jabesh uh, and, fastened, and fasted seven days. That's interesting. When the when King Saul died, they, they fasted seven days for him. That's interesting. I'm kind of freaking out. Hubby has to go to work night shift next three nights. I hate being alone here at night. I'm sorry, Chubby. I'm sorry about that. Read this book a lot, you know. Just open it and do this. It's really awesome sometimes. The stuff you'll just stub your toe on when you're reading. Just open it anywhere and just start reading it. Uh, so Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of the one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it and inquired not of the Lord. Therefore, he slew him and turned the kingdom unto David, the son of Jesse. So that's where David gets his throne. I'll pay for you, Chubby. I know that's rough. It's it's right. I'll pray for you. Pray. Yeah. It's right next to my bed. That See, that's where it should be, Chubby. That's good. Then all Israel gathered themselves to David unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. And moreover, in time past, even when Saul was king, thou wast he that led us out, uh, brought us this in Israel. In other words, Saul was bullshit. It was David. Though David was the man. And Saul was just a piece of trash. That's correct. <laughs> and the Lord thy God said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people, Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people, Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king, uh, uh, to Hebron, and David made a covenant with them in Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed David king over Israel according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. And David and all Israel went, went to Jerusalem, which is in Jebus. <laughs> That's where you get people say it's Jebus instead of Jebus. Yeah, it's a town. <laughs> Jebus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Jebus said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless, David took the cattle of Zion, which is in the city of David. And David said, Whosoever said, uh, Smiteth the Jebusites first, first shall be chief uh, and captain. So Joab, the son of Zeruiah, went first up uh, and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle, therefore they called it the city of David. That, wow, that's pretty cool. What if, what if Jerusalem was called the city of David right now? That's pretty awesome. And he built the city around about, even from Milo around about, and Joab repaired the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater, for the Lord of hosts was with him. God was with David, man. He was righteous. You're mo most welcome, sweetie. Okay, let's see what we got in there. I was late when my hubby started working nights, and sometimes I still feel that way. God bless you guys for people that miss your loved ones when they're working hard for the money. So hard for it, honey. Gavin's being so cute. Mm -hmm. He's rolling and licking. That's I a... miss you when you took photos of store bodies. Mm-hmm. He doesn't like it. Watermelon, too. Mm -mm. We don't like you gone from the homestead. I know. These also are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom, uh, and all, with all Israel to make him king according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David had. And, and it goes through their names. There's some crazy names. You know, Dodo, the son of Dodo. Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Alahite. <laughs> These names are like, wow, amazing. They'll give you a laugh if you you want to laugh in the in the scripture. Some of these names are nuts. And David was in the hold. The Philistines garrison was then held at Bethlehem. Uh, David longed and said, Oh, that one that would give me a drink of water, the well of Bethlehem that is at the gate. 
and, and the three ba- uh, break through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem. They were always fighting, you know, just to get water. They like like the Gazans. No, they're always fighting to get something. My God forbid it me that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that they put their lives in jeopardy for the, the jeopardy of their lives they, they brought it? Therefore, he would not drink it. And these things, yeah, he didn't want to spill a bit of blood for, for even a thirst to his mouth. David was righteous, definitely. He just liked girls. And, and, and that man, that for a truly righteous man, that can be the one thing that screws you up, man. Is 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 lusting after other flesh, you know? What we got here? Sorry, guys. That's enough Bible for now. Is Shani feeling better about being wronged by her friend? Uh, let's see. Um, sorry. Uh, is this a woman in chat right now, or is she blocked? She is blocked now, Kiki. Yeah, she was blocked when she did the stream about it. Uh, yeah, I guess things are okay with. I don't know. Shani just feels like dog shit. Uh, pray for her healing. You know, I ask you that every time. To just pray for Shani's healing. Because that's that's the biggest issue. Is her physical well-being. What happened? There's, there was a person that got upset over Trump shit. And, and they turned... That's what happened. I'm not going to mention names. They're in the cult of personality. Pray for healing and foods. That's right, Matt. Thank you. Thank you. We need that. You know, we do. Shani would uh, probably like a pizza or something. You know? I think Red Baron pizza is better than DiGiorno now. I'd just be fine with bread and cheese. Or bread and cheese. So that's like 10 bucks. Really like for seven, seven dollars, something like that. Bread and cheese is that much now? Yeah. Holy shit. It's like six in, in tax. Holy fuck. How's our day been? It's rough because every day it's filled with uh, images of dead children. Amazon brand pizza is really good. Is it? I'd try that. Totally less than the best. Yeah, it's a, you always have to say four frozen pizza because it's frozen pizza. It's like... You, the brand that my grandma used to get and I used to love was Celeste. Thin crust Celeste and, and she'd put like a ton of dried oregano on the top. Ah, I loved that as a kid. I'd still love that, I think. I like Celeste frozen pizza. But it's thin crust. Yeah, frozen pizza for the most part it is gross. I, I totally agree with you. But when you're poor and you want a pizza and it's EBT, yeah, you're pretty much getting frozen pizzas. Groceries are outrageous. I shop for the week and uh, uh, a handheld basket, $300. Used to be 50 a week for the cheap sh store brand shit. Exactly, Matt. Even the store brand shit. You can't do it anymore. I like Stouffer's French bread pizzas. Yeah, they're, I think they're pretty decent, too. Yeah, I forgot about them, Corella. You're right. You're barely hanging on, dude. I'm really sorry, Matt. I really, really pray for you to get, like, a massive fucking raise or whatever, you know? You guys should mac, mac taco and cheese. That's pretty uh, poor people food. Taco mac and cheese? Yum. That sounds good. <laughs> Spent eighty dollars yesterday for twenty items. Exactly. See, see, where we're at, where I'm at, I have it a lot better than a lot of you guys because because the prices aren't as bad here as they are where you're at. Those thirty five cent ramens are saving my ass right now. I can't eat that shit, Matt. How the fuck does your stomach take that, bro? Like, how old are you? Are you a younger dude? Because you look pretty mature. I don't mean you look old, but you look mature. So, I, I could eat ramen when I was like 27. You know, 30s even. I could eat ramen. I cannot eat ramen now. I can't do it. It feels sick. It literally feels like I'm going to die the next day. If oh I my eat. God, the pain in your stomach it causes. Not even really the week, just a few days of food. 
that's right. That's why it's like, oh, we got the EBT card. Great. It's gone in two weeks. Not even sometimes. I think uh, I'm 30. I drink a shitload of water to overcome the salt and use half a pack. Okay, I see. Meat's just too expensive. You're 30. Okay, gotcha, brother. You 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 use half the packet. That's smart. We don't even really eat meat. I lived in ramen two months. I just vomit thinking. Yeah, exactly. What was that, dude? That literally sounded like a baby voice right in the room. That was weird, dude. Looked like a... What the hell? I don't want to. I don't like. Let me. Let me. Oh, somebody got us something. Man, uh, mine now. It's incredible. Uh, Eat it all, whatever it is. Yeah. No, you have anything. I got waffles. I'm willing to eat the waffles. <laughs> have something with me. I, I don't They're too. Oh my God, Happy Meals. They're two Happy Meals. Okay, yeah. enjoy. You could have I had a Oh my god. Dude, uh, you should see this. This is interesting, actually. You get a toy? Well, yeah, you get a big toy, but, like, look at how many fries they have. Uh -huh. Like. Uh -huh. That's a fry shooter. That, that, like. Shan. This is, like, the tiniest, like, look. That's a fry shooter, man. Thank you. God bless whoever did this, okay? Thank, Thank you. you so much, guys, for whoever did that. Are you in here? You want a chocolate? Milk? What you get? What you got? No, I'm good. It's I have just Happy Meal. I know. Yeah, enjoy it. Mm. Okay. You want something, Gavin? You want some fries? You want Corello has to see the. Okay, could you just give me the toy? One of the, what is this, man? The inside Out? I'm not quite sure what Inside Out is about. That's the smallest fry I've ever seen. It's actually cute. I know. It's like a fry shooter, Matt. What is this? Hang on a second. Well, there goes the value of the toy. I just opened it. Okay, what the shit is... What is this from? I don't... This is from some movie or something? Inside Out 2? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? Is this a Disney movie or something? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what we got. We got some stickers. Did this go in your mouth or something? Wait, is it is it what the is it one of those um these like, are when like we were, pogs? They look like pogs. These, yeah. yeah, these are like pogs, but they're thinner than pogs. Wait, inside it's out, it's anger. What is inside out about? What is inside out? I don't know what this is. But these are literally like pogs, but thicker and cheaper, or thinner and cheaper. Eat up, bro. No, I'm good. I I ate uh I ate waffles. I've been eating waffles like every day, and I love it. I just survive on them. Okay, so the deal is what you put this deal in here. Yeah. And then what does he do? You launch him or some shit? You want some apple slices at least? No, I'm good, dude. I'm fine. Wait. I just had waffles not long ago. Okay. Seriously. What? Oh, it's all about emotions. It's a kid movie about different emotions. 
This is what came in the Happy Meal. This is the toy. Mm -hmm. I think there's no. Uh, sorry, I'm reading the thing that's pinned. I don't. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. Oh, it launches it. Well, that's dog shit. Are you serious? You put the little thing in there and launch it, I guess. Well, it is. I think there was instructions that I kind of just... No, maybe not. It shows it like on the back of the box. Oh, does it? Oh, it shoots these things. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, like, okay, you put one of these guys in here. Like that, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, I mean, okay, <laughs> that's neat, I guess. I'm feeling angry. This is anger. I hope there were nuggies in there. I don't, I, it was a burger. It's burgers. It was, yeah, it's two burger happy meal. Whoever did this, you're fucking amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. You're so kind. God bless you. The foods. Chocolate milk's good. Chalky milk and foods. It's got that vitamin D in it, and I'm like, yes. There you go. I need you for life. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that. Thank you so much. We, we, you. We're like, we hear a knock at, or, or, or a voice, and then we freak out over noise. voices. We're, we're like pathetic fucking... You see how freaking traumatized we are? We hear a little voice and it freaks us out. That's the truth, man. We're so messed in the head. We're man. so traumatized when it comes to knocks and stuff on the door. Badly. Badly, badly. Badly traumatized. Like I told my therapist about that, and she's like, wow, that sounds like serious PTSD. I told mine about that, and she's like, that... Some PTSD. That's serious. PTSD. She actually saw it, witnessed once, and she's like, that's... Oh, my God, that's how you react, yeah. Yeah, she's like, that's a serious reaction. They sent a vegetarian meal, that's kind... It was a burger. <laughs> I wish it was a vegetarian It was a meal. burger. It, it's okay. It, it, the fries and, and apples are vegetarian. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I thought Shani wasn't eating meat because her body uh, couldn't do something with, with it. I'm eating apples and fries. This is, well, this is literally, you did it, you ate a burger, right? Mm -mm. You didn't eat the burger? I'm eating the apples. Well, I, th mm -hmm. I thought I saw a burger in your hand, but okay, whatever. Uh, I did have, it's right there. Oh, it's up here, okay. I'm just not touching it right now. Okay. But I'm hungry, so when Thank you're God. when you're starving, you'll eat meat. There's your answer. When you're starving, you'll eat meat. I'll eat McDonald's. Yeah. Well, I'm hungry right now. Thank you. God bless whoever did that. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. You're very kind. You're very kind. And if anybody can give food to people in Gaza, do that. Like if you're flicking through your Instagram and you see one of these beautiful Palestinian people pop up cooking videos, toss them five bucks if you can. What do you think, watermelon? What do you think of the apple? Salty ass shitty ramen, right, Matt? Matt, I pray for you, man. Your finances, they, <laughs> you get enough to fucking say fuck the government. Oh, you know? I hate ramen so bad. It's like ramen. That it stays in your stomach. Ramen is poison. I'm sorry, I can't see it any other way. It's freaking poison. I mean, technically these are probably poison too. No. They just put some preservatives on them that aren't really good for you, right? Like nitrates and stuff. Mm. Just to preserve the freshness. Mhm. Mm Shout out to Yoshi. What's up, Yoshi? I don't know why they put these this on apples. It makes it taste awful. I know the nitrates. Sometimes they're so bathed, sometimes they're so bathed in nitrates. It actually like 
it's like pop rocks in your mouth. Did yeah. you ever have that? That fruit? It's real weird. A lot of those charities are scams. I saw a charity for Haiti that threw out hundreds and hundreds of crates of donated food that never got delivered to the people that needed it. That's disgusting, Matt. Well, I can tell you, and I don't re recommend the apples from McDonald's. That's disgusting. They have this weird chemical-y taste to it and bitter. So I don't recommend these. I don't understand what it is. It says it's calcium ascorbate to maintain freshness and they add color to an apple weird what? weird franken apples probably and then they and have like the little you know disney oh because it's disney brand apples folks see they gotta be deaf because <laughs> it's disney brand <laughs> apples not the best taste oh it's do you get really, it well do you get it? Kill the children. If I was starving, I'd eat dog shit. You saved me. You saved me relationship. Good. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Real ramen is great, though. Yeah, it is. Lost in the abyss. That's some crazy shit. <laughs> it's got to be Mickey Mouse brand death apples. Okay. <laughs> Garden of Eden apples. Ah, oh, broccoli rob is less bitter. Anyway, no, I'm good. I'm eating uh uh waffles. I'm good. Yeah, there's not many waffles left. Yeah, there there's an entire half a box left. Is there lots? But that's like six waffles. No, it's not. It's like ten. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Those are Bill Gates apples. That's right. Probably. I don't think but she. Thank you. She didn't eat the burger yet. It's something. Did they give you two burgers, like two hamburger Happy Meals? That's yes. what, yeah. That's what it is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That's so nice. Thank you for that. They weren't even in here, and they did that. Whoever it was. Bless. The, see, that's real. That's somebody that actually really cares about you. <laughs> that they're not even in here. You know, Rev. Nothing would make me happier than seeing you eat a burger. What? Okay. I mean, I do. Eat, I the eat. I do requests. I do requests, so I'll eat. All right, what we got? You haven't opened up a, a Happy Meal in how oh many God, years? That's insane. The shooter of fries, like that's it's, literally it's not even full. This is for snackery. I'm gonna eat for snackery. Because honestly, I'm not even hungry. I had fucking waffles. Death apples. You look happy, eat up. Yeah, okay. The fry shooter. I got anger too. Why is why anger, man? Why is Disney and McDonald's pushing me to anger? I don't get this shit. We got our death apple. Oh my god. I'm telling you, they're bitter. Oh. Okay. Oh, here. Watching people eat helps you. Alright, that's cool. You need this too. What is this? Oh, chocolate? No. Oh, I'm gonna take a swig of that first. All right. Why would they... This is like on the caps of, like, creamers. Why would they do that? Anger, sex, violence, cells. Yeah, it does. Always will. Mm. Reduce sugar, low-fat chocolate milk. Ultra-pasteurized... It's ultra pasteurized. <laughs> okay. That's it. It's all from Chicago. Thank you, Jesus. There you go. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 
It's not one of my hamburgers homemade. No way. My shit is fucking bomb. But this... This will now lay in my gut for a month. But it tastes good. Happy meal, Will. Okay, you're just going to need more emergency nutrition. Okay, thanks. No, I don't. <laughs> like, if you saw my muscle mass, you wouldn't say that. Rate the burger. Okay. I would remind you that Walt Disney was a pedophile. So I rate this movie and the apples a zero. Um, and given the fact that McDonald's is a Zionist company. Oh, that's right. I could. What? I might be eating a gauzin right now. Jesus, and you put it in your mouth. Could be a lie from the internet. An honest rating of the burger in terms of how I value the food is it's a 10. How I value the food. But the flavor, it's a standard, beautiful McDonald's hamburger that I consumed from the time that I was eight. Hasn't changed. Not to my taste buds. So I give it a pretty high rating, actually. Because I don't mind a McDonald's hamburger. I don't. So it was like an eight. Seven or an eight. I like them. And, and, and Burger King hamburgers are better, actually. Well, welcome to the bitterness. Okay. No. Oh, my God. They give that to little kids. That's not an app. Ugh! What is on that? That immediately gave me indigestion. What is on that? This is a fucking crime. Calcium ascorbate? That's the second ingredient. A blend of calcium and vitamin C to maintain freshness and color. Yeah, you're putting something else on that. I'd rather eat a rotten fresh apple. Would I eat another? If it was here, maybe. Maybe. Spiritual Life Cords, Intuitive Tarot, Online, you don't want it? Would you rather waffles? That's what you're going to have to eat, dude, if you don't have this. I'm fine. You're sure? Yes, sir. She ain't eating meat again? Good protein. is No, she ain't going to eat. I'm eating it. Happy Meals are so cute. They aren't they? Oh, you did take a bite. Okay. I couldn't do it. I spit it out. It was gross. I felt rude, but at the That's same really time, rude, yeah. my stomach, ugh. No, no I, I, I can't eat the apples, though. So I'm just as rude. Devil's advocate here, but probably keep the apples from turning brown. They were brown anyway, Matt. Nasty. The flavor, I'm telling you, was as disgusting. That's in the negatives. It's like a chemical type yeah. taste. Yeah, and it immediately gave me indigestion. It's not feeling good in my stomach. I know why they would the say. The milk's fine. The milk's cool. Milk's fine. Ultra pasteurized? That's kind of weird, though. Ugh. Mm. No, I took a bite of it. I mm. thought of the gazans, and then I spit it mm. back out of my mouth. Ah! Yeah. Mm. And then I became sick to my stomach. Now, that's exactly how I remember it as a kid, so this ain't bad for me. I can't, no. I'm not, I, I no, I'm, no. I, ugh. I was going to say the delivery dude took a bite. No, it was a woman, and she was, I, she had a hijab on, actually. God bless her, man. Yeah. She had a hijab on. 
No. Mm. I still enjoy a McDonald's hamburger. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. But now that will sit and rot in my stomach for two weeks, which is not normal. Well, but thank you for whoever did that. Thank but... you for the food, yeah. Ugh. It didn't do anything except make me sick. So, <laughs> good night. I hate McDonald's. Ugh. I'm glad you ate, though, baby. You yeah, I'm good. very grateful to the person that gave that. Okay? Because I won't need to eat for a long time now, which is good. <laughs> Thank you. Ugh. I appreciate it. So gross. So she needs something, though. That's for sure. <clears throat> she only needs something, so. Not right now. Yeah. I feel fucking gross. Mm hmm. I look at the video of Gaza and I'm like, holy shit, I, I get a burger? That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it was good, Snackery. Mm -hmm. I did enjoy it. See, I look at that and I'm like, no, I don't know if they're like putting Gazans in that stuff. I was joking, dude. I'm not. I told my story about McDonald's and why I don't like eating it. Mm. Ugh. Those apples made me sick. That That's the thing that really, blah. If I ate the rest of them, I would not be well right now. Ugh. That was no. That was a big no. No, that's poison in them. But I loved my fry shooter, and I loved the two burgers. What do they put on that shit? Cyanide? Why would you do that to children? Citric acid is what the, and I think that's probably correct. But it's, it's, it's like a combination of vitamin C and... Nah, that didn't taste like no fucking vitamin C to me. No, it tastes. tastes like chemicals straight up. Bitter chemicals that then make immediately like... Bleh. Maybe they're old, expired or something. I don't no, know. No, I doubt it. It's just McDonald's. That's it's nasty. Gross. That tastes like straight up poison. The apple. Yeah, and then the parents get mad at the children for not wanting to eat the apples. Back at it for dinner, I was working, lol, D decided to leave too boring here today. Yeah, I get you. That's fine. Ugh. What's up, happy little accidents art? A cigarette is so good after a McDonald's burger. It is. Ugh. Since you asked snackery. Yeah. Ugh. It's good. Yuck. Glad I have a job I can come in whenever and leave whenever as long as I have uh I have for it. That's cool. Ugh. That's definitely awesome. Have time. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, I gave you some Bible today. We hung out. We I gave you a mukbang. And seriously, whoever sent that, you just fed me. Thank you so much. You're awesome. I appreciate it. No, I figure it's a troll who sent that. I don't care. Because the other day I complained it was food. about McDonald's. No, I don't care. They fed me. Well, it just it tasted good. Ugh, it completely turns me off, McDonald's. Like, yeah, that's cool. It should be burnt because it's not <coughs> food. My uh, stomach acid will burn it up. Trust me, you're gonna be sick today. Yeah. So I love you guys. Um, if you can, because I, I'd like food, not junk food, but food. Wow. 
you know, something that has nutritional value. Yes. Why be negative and think it was a troll sending you something to eat? Because this is what they do. Not the, my first rodeo. They've done it to me several times, this type of shit. I say I don't like something, and then they send it in a mass amount. And then I feel guilty about it. Blah, blah, blah. And then I have other people asking fucking questions about why I don't like it and how ungrateful I am and all this other shit. And it's like, it's not that I'm ungrateful. It's more like that shit is fucking poison. And you trying to send that to me is like <laughs> saying, hey, here's some fucking poison. So God bless you guys. Okay. Uh, pray for Gaza. Jesus is Lord. Um, I'll be back probably in a little bit. Yeah. Thanks for fucking putting food in front of me that I can't fucking eat because it's poison. You can't give something for some fucking nutrition. No. Poison. I'll be back, guys. All right. Thank you. And if you could hit um, any one of our uh, meta banks, we got Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. So gross. God bless you guys. I'll be back, I promise. <laughs>